remember. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. This is Dabu7, and this is the rundown on Syria. As many of you know, the United States is waiting for Congress to assemble to put this vote through so Obama can try to push to go to war. With that said, they have not delivered a single shred of evidence to the American people or to anyone else showing that there's any reason to go to war. They say they have satellite imagery. These different congressmen, uh, Boehner, Feinstein, they all say they've seen it. They want to go to war. Problem is they haven't showed us. Now, Russia, China, they also have the same satellite imagery. Use your mind. This is the proof of all proofs. This is common sense. If you want to know the truth, use common sense. Do not buy the BS from left field or right field. Use your common sense, your intuition. Look at all the information, analyze it, and go with what makes the best sense. Okay? As of right now, the United States will never release this information because they know the rebels did this accidentally inside the tunnels. It exploded, killed a lot of people. And the rebels that they are training did this. So they don't want involved with this. Now, the chemicals and the connections came from the UK and from Saudi Arabia, which they have proven. That's why the UK backed out of this whole war thing and Saudi Arabia is trying to wipe its hands clean and tried to strike a deal with Russia. Um, that's the whole scenario there. Now, we've had a second round false flag attack that just happened yesterday. You have to ask yourself, why is the media not talking about this? Why? 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 Because it's so heinous and it's so sloppy and the rebels are immediately connected to it again that this time they're trying to hide it big time. The first one was so sloppy that every newsman in the United States is having a hard time looking in the camera, lying to the American people because they know that this is a lie, that this is a fabricate, fabrication, that it's a hoax, that your own government cannot even prove to you. I have put out video after video showing you crisis actors, connections within the game, Obama's brother Malik, top, top financial advisor to the Muslim Brotherhood. They've pulled videos on me. I've showed you how Kerry just put out fake videos or uh, fake photos and used photos from Iraq to sell to the American people and lie to the American people. Photos of which they got busted and they retracted, but they didn't come back out and tell the American people this? No. The same millions of people that seen that story still are believing that lie because it was put into, into their head that night on national television, and that's, that, that was all that mattered. They got their effect. I've shown you 100% how the rebels have, have admitted it, how the UN has said that the rebels have done it. Okay, I've shown you all of this, and I believe I've given you more proof that this has been a false flag than they have given you proof showing that Assad did it. Show me otherwise. Show me otherwise. Or shut your mouth because you're a liar. Anyone that wants to back the Obama administration is a liar. Okay? And I have the facts and the links and all the hard work and proof to prove it. Somebody else did some hard work, which is very interesting, that I want to share with you. This nun put together some work that shows that this whole thing was a fabricated chemical attack. And the most interesting part, I'll leave a link so you guys can check it out for yourself. The most interesting piece of information that blows the whole thing out of the water. And I want you to use common sense here. I want you to use logic and discernment. Reuters put out a piece at 6 o'clock in the morning. And this attack happened roughly around 4 o'clock in the morning. They had two hours to get 500 bodies together. Roll them dead, ID them, move them, line them all up, take dozens of different photos, hundreds of different video clips, get it all back to the station, get it all cut down, remixed, mastered, cutted, edited, the whole nine, put out for final production within two hours. Get out of here. It had took more than two hours to move all them damn bodies. Alone. That right there is a bombshell key piece of evidence that should show all of you that this is a fabrication and a lie. 
I swear to you, I have more evidence in all of my work alone, in all the other hard work by all the other YouTubers out there, in people that are that are working on this. All of us together have more information and proof that this is a false flag than one itty bitty, even single bit of evidence that Obama has shown you. Besides the fake pics that Kerry tried to push off on, on the people. Now there's evidence, once again, right in your face, that they sold a pre-packaged lie to the media because there's no way in hell they did this in two hours, folks. Let that soak in for a minute. And for everybody out there that wants to say, well, how come Russia's not showing their satellite feed and putting this to rest and stopping this? Because Russia and China have satellite feed, folks. They know what happened. Well, if they know the truth, why ain't they, why ain't they telling anybody? Well, I'll tell you why. It would be instant world war in the real world. The American people would revolt on this government in a heartbeat, and it would be hard. It, it, they're not ready, right? They want to have the upper hand when that happens. They want madness to break loose. They don't want people storming the government. They want chaos like an earthquake or a nuke or something to happen so they can come in and take over. They don't want you solely revolting against the government. Okay, so people are like, well, why wouldn't Putin just come out? Because Putin is part of this, folks. All of you guys out there trying to say Putin's the Antichrist. Obama's the Antichrist. Netanyahu's the Antichrist. Wake up, folks. The Antichrist is a false man of peace. These guys are not of peace. What they've done is they've made you fall in love with the communist dictator. And don't get me wrong. I'll be the first to admit it. They've made him look like a god compared to Obama. He stands up for more rights. He fights against Monsanto. He does so many better things than Obama. It's the truth. But this is exactly what they want you to do. They want to bankrupt this country and they come in and socialize it. Okay? And these Khazars, these fake Jews that have infiltrated Israel, okay, it all comes down to this. Netanyahu, he's no more Jewish than Obama is Muslim, than Putin is Christian. They are all sun worshippers, folks. You better look at the Vatican and you better look at the sun worshipping deep. You better look at the obelisk inside of Egypt, the same one that is inside of London, the same one that sits inside of Washington, D.C., the same one that sits inside of the Vatican. It is a huge sundial. It is an obelisk. This is sun worship, phallic worship. This is deep. This is the truth. This is the Illuminati. The black Pope Nicholas gives his orders down to the white Pope, Jesuit Pope Francis, that is trying to be the man of peace here. While these other guys of war running these countries are running around, he is trying to be the man of peace and is trying to make Putin look like the good guy as well. Trying to put this communist dictator on a pedestal to look good. Remember this. Okay? Which they're doing a fine job. Problem is, they're all on the same team. All these men are in this together. All the men in these countries that haven't been, Gaddafi's, the Assad's, they're, they're not, they don't want to be a part of this new world order, so they go in and they eliminate them. Okay? The people of Egypt and their armies are fighting for their lives and their freedom. The people of Syria and the army of Syria and Assad are fighting for their lives together, folks. It is biblical for a reason. And yes, I do believe it's these evil people are using the Bible as a playbook to make this come true. And you don't even have to believe in it. They believe in it. And as long as they believe in it and they have the power, they're going to do everything they can to make this come true. Because they are controlling, if they can, can make these these prophecies, so to speak, come true, if they can have a hand in doing it, they will make other people in the world believe in this book and believe in these religions they've put out there. Because he's no more of a Muslim than he is of a Christian than he is of a Jew. They're all fake. It's all fake, and it's all part of this Illuminati. This is what they've done for hundreds of years, thousands of years. You want to figure it out? Well, now you're starting to. They have played both sides of every major war throughout history, and the last one will be no different. 
They control the media. They control the religion. They control your news. They control everything. Your education. Everything. What you eat. What you buy. What you wear. What you listen to. Everything. They control it all. And the Antichrist will not be one of these warmongers. He will be a false man of peace. Remember that. And it may not be him. But he will be a false man of peace, folks. I will leave links. As always, eyes open. Much love. And remember, you are all energy. It's the one thing they do not want you to know. Study the small the smallest platonic solid, the tetrahedron of all of the universe. We are all made of the same atoms, the same molecules, the same energies. They do not want you to know. I will leave links. Much love. Eyes open. This has been Dabu7. And remember, we have more power and more evidence than they do. Peace.